Why if it's me? Guess it wasn't me. If it makes my bed, kiss me. It's fine. As long as I'm his last love. Is that all? Yes, please. That would be £3.60. Wait, you're in my science class. I'm all right. Yeah. Would you want to study together sometime? We could meet at the library on Monday morning for free. Yeah, sure. Emily, I met the cutest guy ever. I'm glad. See? You can date other people before you and your soulmate choose to be together. What's wrong? It's time for me and my soulmate to switch faces. Three, two, one. Wait, I feel like I've seen this face before. Anyway, thank God my soulmate is not ugly. He's kind of handsome. Ryan, please take me out on a date. So his name is Ryan? Don't listen to her. Take me out instead. Why do all the girls like him? Sorry, girls, but I'm not going to cheat on my soulmate. Hey, Ryan. Wait, why are you dressed like um, a girl? Um, no reason. Anyway, did you still want to go to gym after school and lift some weights? Your arms look skinny. Gym? Yeah, why not? Hey, Ryan, come here. Yes, sir? Why haven't you been in school for the past five days? Um, I was, uh... Sick. Yeah, right. Come with me. I'm giving you a detention for the whole the day. The whole day? But I didn't do anything. I have to quickly find my soulmate so we can switch faces again. Hey, Ryan, there's a girl named Amara. She's looking, She's for, looking me. for me? Where is she? Just down the hall. Okay, distract the teacher while I sneak out of class. Wait, is that how I look like to others? Finally, I got my face back. Hey, I'm Ryan. It's nice to meet you. I'm Amara. Nice to meet you too. It was pretty weird having your face. Everyone thought I was you. Plus, you have like a lot of girls crushing on you. Don't worry. I've never seen you. I mean, it is a pretty big school. True. You want to have lunch together? Sure, I'm down. But um, I think you should finish that detention first. Detention? For what? <sighs> What's the delay? Look, the prince is coming. So, looks like I was right. The prince is wearing grey clothes, meaning I'm his Grey? Is it true you already knew the prince liked the shade of red, which is why you wore it on purpose? No, I'm telling the truth. My soulmate's favourite colour is wearing red. You broke the rules. Get out of this palace, now. What? Finally, she's been kicked out of the palace. The prince's real soulmate is beautiful, right Amara? Too bad your lie didn't last long. Why are you covering your red outfit? Why wear this color? I don't even like red. I don't know why I even bothered. Everyone just thinks I'm lying and the prince kicked me out of the palace. What? He kicked you out? The prince I know would never do that. Yeah, well, he did. Amara, the prince needs your help. He's in danger. My help? He should ask his soulmate for help. Don't be like that. You have to help him. Why would I? He kicked me out. What if I told you that wasn't the prince? <sighs> oh my gosh. It looks like I'm a total different person. I look so good. I can't believe it. Is that Amara? Whoa, she's beautiful. Hey, so I bet it's still on, right? Wait, why do you look so good? <laughs> you think you're the only one that took the beauty pill? I don't care about the pill. I'm still going to win the bet. And you're going to leave the school. Amara and Olivia, please come up on stage. You're both finals in the Princess Prom Contest. Better start looking for other schools. We'll see about that. And the prom princess is... Please be me. Please be me. Olivia. What? How? I can't believe this. Okay, I'll have a drink. Mm. Fresh, right? Yes, it's really fresh. Why do you look so panicked? Um, I just realized I'm late for class. Bye. You look worried. I am, because I just found out how many years Alex has left. The new kid? Yes, he has zero years left. Huh, but how is he still alive? That's exactly what I'm confused about. Maybe he's already dead. But if he's dead, then how is he still talking to us? Hey, Alex. Oh, hey, I just finished exercising. Thanks for giving me the drink, by the way. It really did give me energy. I should probably try and increase his age. What are you doing? Um, nothing. I just wanted to thank you again for giving me that drink. You're welcome. Why don't you try and change the amount of peers he has left? I tried, but it's not working. That means he's dead because it only works on people who are alive. I told you he was a zombie. Zombie? Yep, and I'm going to tell everyone. Wait, don't. 
Amara, I want to be honest with you. I used to be a zombie, but the drink you gave me turned me into a human. Are you being serious? Yeah, and it's all thanks to you. Um, I'm happy you turned into a human again. How long do I have left? Four years left, but don't worry, I'll add some years to your life. Whoa, thank you, Amara. This is the zombie, sir. Did you tell her I had zero years left? I had to because I was suspicious. I'm sorry. Cute, but we have to get rid of him. We can't have zombies around the street. Yes, finally, no more zombies. Alex, wake up. Why would you do that? Amara, it's over. Come, let's go. He's still not dead. How do you know that? Because it still says he has 44 years left. That's because you've added more years to my life. Don't worry, Amara. I'll never leave you. Uh, wait, what? How is this possible? Huh? I have to make five people smile? Mom, what does that mean? If you make five people smile, you can have whatever you want. Everything? Even a luxury house and a luxury car? Everything. Oh my gosh, of course I'm gonna accept. I hope you succeed, honey. It could really help our family right now. So, I have to make my neighbor smile. That's easy, she's my friend. Hey Amara, why did you take so long to get ready? I've been waiting for an hour. Because I knew you'd wait for me. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Yes, thank you so much for smiling. I managed to finish my first challenge of making people smile. That was a sarcastic smile, but you're welcome. Make my brother smile? Let me find him, he's probably around the school somewhere. Has anyone seen my brother? Hey sis, I'm getting married today. You're what? But you're still young. I'll smile if you promise not to tell mom. If he smiles, I can become a millionaire. Okay, I promise. Yes, I'm getting married. <laughs> Amara, your grades are always low. Sir, I'm trying my best. You're the student I hate the most. I promise, I'm going to study so hard and get an A-star on my next exam. <laughs> That's impossible. Yes. At least I could make him smile. I had you trying to compete the challenge. Just to let you know, I only have one more person and I'll win. I can't let her win. I have to hurry up and make two more people smile. Mom, I'm home. How's the challenge going? I've already made three people smile. And now I have to make you smile. Of course, I'll make it easy for you. Yay, thanks mom. Now I only have to make one more person smile. I hope the last person is someone close to me. Grandpa? Mom, we have to go to his house. Okay, follow me. With pleasure. Um, Mom, where's his house? It's right here. Why is there a tombstone here? Uh, because... Let go of me. Who are you? I'm here to help you. Why won't you hide? Hide? So you still don't realize that they're against your white hair, do you? Why would they be against it? Your hair is magical. You can ask it anything and it will do it Anything? Yes, they want to cut your hair because if they cut it, it won't work anymore. So, I can ask anything, huh? I need to think of something worth asking. It's safer to stay here. Don't go out because people are looking for you. But how am I supposed to eat? Don't worry, I'll bring you food. I think it's time for me to go to sleep. It's getting late. Where is the white-haired girl? She's here, sir. Good job. You caught her before anyone else did. That's it. Take the scissors and cut her hair for me. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Amara. He offered me a lot of money to do Wait, this. Wait, one second. Before you do anything. Hair, please make everyone forget about my hair color. Did it work? Did what work? And why am I holding your scissors? What is this place? Wait, so you can't see my hair color? Yes, I can. It's blue. You're poor. That explains why you're sleeping in this underground garage. Anyways, we have a job we need to get to. I can see my dad's salary. I don't even expect it to be a lot. He doesn't even leave the house to work. <gasps> so all this time my dad's rich? Dad! What do you want? You get one million per month? Why didn't you tell anyone? I didn't tell you because I don't want you to be spoiled. Who says anything about being spoiled? Every day at school I'm hungry for a snack but I never have any money to buy it. Okay, starting from today, I'll give you a thousand pounds a day. 
Okay, I have to keep your salary on private. Why are you keeping it private? Because I don't want my friends at school to like me just for money. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to school now. Bye. Hi, Amara. Hey. Why is your dad's salary private? Because I want to keep it private. Is there a problem with that? You put it on private because your dad's salary is poor, right? You can't be friends in that case. Bye. What? All right, it's your loss anyway. Okay, Claus, we're going to be going on a trip to the zoo. Everyone follow me except Amara. Why, sir? Because you're poor. You won't be able to afford the visit. But, sir, I can pay for it. How are you going to pay? You're poor. You know what? What? They said the one whose father's salary is the highest will be the president of the student union. Who said that? I heard the teacher speaking about it earlier. I think Jessica's going to win because her father's salary is the highest. Attention everyone, I will now announce the new president of the student union. Wait, you're announcing it now? Yes, the new president is Jessica. Her father's salary is 150000 150000 a month? Are you making fun of that salary? Get out of my way! Who dared to slap you like that? Some girl in class. Okay, from tomorrow you're putting my salary on public. I don't accept anyone slapping you. Look who's at school. I thought she'd be scared to come back. Yes, Jessica, she should be afraid of you. Me? Afraid of her? <laughs> Never. But if you really want to know, this is the last time I'm here. But before I leave, I want to show you something. Yes, the hair rules are changing. Please give me loose hair so they won't find out I broke the rules again. Huh? Bold? So, turns out you did break the rules. Take her now. Where are you taking me? Just follow them. <laughs> Where am I? People who violate the rules are brought here. <sighs> what? You're my neighbor, the one who broke the rules, right? Yep. Now that you're here, your hair will be controlled by your soulmate and not the system anymore. Controlled by a soulmate? Yes. Oh, look who it is. My ex's new girlfriend. I thought you said you didn't break the rules. Turns out you did. Whatever, you broke the rules too. Well, at least now I know the truth about you. I've given up. It's up to my soulmate to choose my hairstyle this time. What? Why isn't it appearing? Maybe your soulmate's sleeping. Okay. I wonder what will happen if we don't listen to our soulmates and just do the hairstyles we want. What happens is you won't be able to get married in the future. Wait, really? Yes. So, if I do all the hairstyles he tells me to, I can get out of this place, right? Yeah, but you'll have to follow the rules for a while. Then why isn't he giving me any hairstyles? I already told you, maybe he's sleeping. No, there must be something wrong. He can't sleep at this time. There'll be a new hairstyle tomorrow. If you don't get one by then, you can start getting worried. But for now, just relax. Come on, please choose a hairstyle for me. Still nothing? There's definitely something wrong. I have to find out. Hey, do you know the creator of this hair system? The creator of this hair system is in that room, but no one's ever seen his face. He always wears a mask. What's wrong with you knocking on my room like that? Take off the mask! And who the hell are you? Where is my soulmate? Why isn't he choosing any hairstyles for me? Your soulmate doesn't want to set any hairstyle for you. So you're free to choose whatever hairstyle you want. Take off your mask! Alright, if that's what you want, okay. You know me, right? Dave? My childhood friend, right? Actually, I made this hair system so I can meet you again. I knew you wouldn't follow the hair rules because you've always liked to do your hair however you wanted. It just made it easier to what? find you. Tell me where my soulmate is. Your soulmate's right here in front of you. Surprised, huh? Why are you scared? Break it now. Okay, sir. I'll take out my egg now. I chose the special egg. Sorry. Give that special egg to me now. What? No, this is my egg. Catch her and take the special egg. Luckily, no one knows I'm here. You have to quickly break the egg before anyone sees you. But what if someone steals what's in it? Don't worry, you have to break it before it's too late. Okay, but before I break it, can you please leave? I want to be alone. Okay, I'll leave now. It's safe, right? Okay, now it's time for me to break the egg. What was that? Hi, Mom. What? Who are you? Thanks for breaking the egg. But nothing came out of it. You stole the contents of the egg. Give it back now. I didn't steal anything. What am I going to do? You have to come with me. Don't leave. Okay, Mom. Stop calling me that. I'm not your mom. Who's that walking with Amara? He's so tiny and cute. Cute? He's a thief. What kind of thief? Oh, yeah. By the way, what did you do with that special egg? Nothing. He stole it. What? So he's the one that took the contents of the special egg? Yes, I already broke it, but I didn't see what's in it because he took it. 
Hey, little boy, come with me. Where are you taking him? I'm gonna help you get whatever he stole. I can't believe I ended up getting nothing from that special egg. He didn't steal the contents of that egg. What do you mean he didn't steal the contents of the egg? He is the contents of the egg. What? If that's true, then I have to help him. Some guy took him away. The guy already knows that he came out of the egg. But he pretended to help you so you could get to him. I have to save him. Before you leave, don't forget to tell that little boy that you love him. Why would I do that? I don't even know his name. His name is Chance. Chance? What kind of a name is that? Chance! Mom? Oh, there you are. Stay right there or I'll kill him. If I kill him, I'll be rich. Rich? Yep, I have to kill him now. No, don't! Sorry, I always call you mom. I only call you that because you're the owner of the egg. I can't believe I couldn't save him. Oh, don't be so sad. I'm sorry. I love you, Chance. What was that? I love you too. You're alive again? Yep, and I'm much stronger now thanks to you. I thought I killed you. How are you alive? It's time for you to pay for what you've done. Don't worry, no one's ever gonna dare to bother you again. My soulmate likes wine red. So you have to wear an outfit of that color to find your soulmate. What? Mom, I'm going to school. And why aren't you wearing a red outfit? I don't like red, and I don't even care about finding my soulmate. Amora, I met my soulmate. Seriously? How? I'm wearing the color he likes. Well, I'm really happy for you. Amora, come with me to the prince's event. Prince's event? Yes. Can I wear whatever clothes I want there? No, you have to wear the color your soulmate likes. If you don't, you'll get kicked out. What's the purpose of this event anyway? And why do we have to wear the color our soulmate likes? The prince wants to find his soulmate. If a girl wears a dress with the prince's favorite color, it means he's our soulmate. I don't have any dresses. I only have this top and wine red. It's fine. That top looks great. <sighs> what do you think? It's beautiful. I'm sure you'll be the most beautiful girl at the event. Let's go to this great event. Let's go. I can know my boyfriend's friend's name. Oh, what well, have me say that's on the phone? Of course, I'm gonna choose contact name. Morning, mom. Morning, honey. Mom, how come you've said my name as least favorite child? No, honey, that was your sister. She took my phone and changed your name. I don't know how to change it back. Hey, Jess. Hey, bestie. I miss you so much. Two Faced? Seriously? How did you know? Did you have my phone? No, I have the power to see what people save me as. I can't believe you saved me as Two Faced. Hey, Amara, you can have phone to me, right? Please, can you check out my boyfriend to save me as? Okay. Girlfriend number three. Not possible. There must be an error in the system. Hey, Amara, why are you in a bad mood? Nothing. I'm just getting annoyed with people. Why are you annoyed? You're the same. Hey, nerd, why are you always walking alone? You don't have any friends, do you? When will you stop bullying me? Never. By the way, what did you say my name as on your phone? I saved your name as the loner. Are you sure? I wonder how many mistakes I've made. Huh? Zero? That means I've never done anything wrong, right? I'll just put it on private so that my friends don't think I'm arrogant. You're the one who let my food burn in the oven, right? I told you to take it out on time. No, it wasn't me, mom. Why do you always accuse me? I know you have a lot of mistakes. That's why you put it on private, right? No, I put it on private because... Stop making excuses. Excuse me, sir. Am I in this class? Well, it depends. How many mistakes do you have? Um, a hundred. That means you're in the lowest class. Class D. Class D? Why is class A empty? Apparently, only one person can enter class A. It's the person with zero mistakes. They'll give that person something special. Something special? Like what? Don't worry about it, because it's definitely not you. You're the one who stole all the exam answers. No, sir. It wasn't me. She's lying. Her mistakes are private. I'm sure she just says that to not get accused. That's not true. You're all wrong. Okay, if you didn't cheat, make your mistakes on public and prove yourself. Okay, sir. She must have a lot of mistakes. Only eat vegetables or only eat meat? Mom, I don't like vegetables. I know, honey. Just pick meat. Mom, I'm going to school. Okay, don't forget your lunch. Does it contain meat? Yes, of course. Okay, thank you. Oh, 
It looks like you all just eat meat. Of course, we hate vegetables. Yeah, they're disgusting. I also hate vegetables. I'm so happy that I'm not the only one who chose to eat meat. Oh no, all students in the school chose to eat meat. Everyone? Yes. Let's go get food from the canteen. You didn't know? The canteen is closed now because the owner is vegetarian and she refuses to sell meat. Well, it's a good thing I brought packed lunch with me. Hey, why do you look so scared? From now on, I don't want to eat any more meat. You don't want to eat any more meat? Why? It's much better than vegetables. You still haven't heard the news, have you? No, what are you talking about? I'd rather not say. I'm so hungry. I finished my packed lunch like two hours ago. Where can I get any more meat? My friends aren't even eating any more meat, aren't they hungry? Did you say you wanted some meat? Yes. Well, it's your lucky day. I'm selling some. How much do you want? I want everything. Okay, here you go. Thanks so much. <coughs> Why are you all throwing up? This meat is really delicious. Try it. I don't want to. Why are you acting like that? Do you really not like meat? We like before we heard the news what are you guys talking about you've made a big mistake what mistake you've chosen to only eat meat right yes i chose to only eat meat so you still don't know no what so they found out that the meat they're selling is it's actually human flesh um sweets aren't gonna make me full i'll choose the potatoes i have a lot of time anyway <laughs> Amara, give me some. What? No, get your own. Please, I don't have much time left. Okay, but only this time. I buy her a car. Of course, the car. I still have a lot of time, so I don't. I'll just go for the mansion. If my time ends, I'll just ask Mara to give me some more gifts. What? I only have one day left. I don't want to die tomorrow. I have to ask my mom. Mom, give me more time. I only have one day left. Sorry, honey. I can't. I barely have enough left. Hi, guys. You can't be a student council president anymore. Why? Because you only have one day left. From tomorrow, I'm going to be the new president. If I press one of the options, I die. But who knows? Maybe it will give me more time. Take the glasses off. Okay, I'll take it off. I really hope nothing bad happens. Oh, my gosh. Why is your eye color? Why is my eye color what? Your eyes are not normal. They're colorful. Colorful? I finally found someone with this eye color. Officer, take her. What's happening? Shut up. Don't move. Sir, why am I being detained like this? I'll leave you with this officer because I really need your eyes. They can help me. Help you with what? You're just going to leave me with a stranger? Let me go. Shut up. You wait until me and your teacher come back. So I'm going to be left here alone? Don't try to run away. But please. Amara, are you okay? Emily, finally you came. Please help me untie these handcuffs. You shouldn't have went to the eye exam. Everyone's after you now. Everyone's after me? Yes, because only your eyes can see the contents of the box. What box? I'll explain later. Come with me now. Basically, your eyes have the power to see what's inside the box. People with normal eyes don't see anything. I don't understand. It. What box are you talking about? Our teacher, he always has this orange green box in class. Do you remember it? I think so. So, do you have the box? No, but we have to get it quickly from our teacher's classroom. This is our classroom, but the box is no longer here. It was here just yesterday. It seems that the teacher has taken it to the warehouse at the time you were kidnapped. So what are we going to do now? He thinks you're still in the warehouse. He must have came in and took it. How are we going to get it back? Don't worry. The box is useless if people don't know what's inside. The contents can only be seen with your eyes. Wait here. I'm going to try to find it. I know where the teacher's box is. You do? Yes, I'll show you, but you have to come. Okay, let's go. Emily, I'm with Olivia. She says she knows where the box is. The box is with me now. You have to run away. She's lying to you. Um, Olivia, I need to go to the bathroom. My stomach hurts. You think you can run away from me? Hey, guys, she's with me. Take her. Wait, don't. Hey, wake up. Finally, we managed to catch one of the colored eyed people. So what are we going to do, boss? Look for the box. Here's the box. See what's in it and tell me. No! You want to keep your eyes, right? I have no choice. Hurry up and open the box. Huh? Why is your face like that? What's in the box? Okay, my soulmate will appear in three, two, one. That must be him. Huh? Where is he? Did he get lost? Welcome to my palace. Uh, Amara? Jake, what are you doing here? I should be the one asking you. You're in my house. I was waiting for my soulmate. I have 
no idea how I ended up here. I'm also waiting for my soulmate. I still don't understand how I ended up in your house. How would I know? I'm also shocked. There is no way me and him are soulmates. Anyway, I think this is a mistake. Yes, it's definitely a mistake. Hey, you two, have you met your soulmates yet? Not yet. Huh? Are you serious? I think you two are going to get married, you know? Because you used to date before. That has nothing to do with it. Yes, it does. You're meant to be. You're crazy. Just stop talking. Well, who knows? Anyway, Jake, why are you so quiet? Uh, it's nothing. I'm just looking for the address of the soulmate center. For some reason, I have a feeling you two are soulmates, and my feelings are never wrong. Since the incident yesterday, I feel like me and Jake are so awkward with each other. You think it's awkward? Why? Don't you still like me? Like you? Why would I like you? You have like a thousand different girlfriends each week. Actually, I have like three thousand That's even worse. That's like three times as much. Yes, and what's the problem? I'm trying to find the right one for me. You were looking for the address for the soulmate center, right? Have you found it yet? Yes, I did. Great. Can you take me there? I want to find my soulmate. Yes, whatever you need, princess. But I'm curious, how did you end up in my house? I already told you, I don't know. That's why we're here to find out. Yeah, you know, I have a feeling we're soulmates. Why is that? I don't know, but I think you're definitely my soulmate. I think you're wrong, and you could never be my soulmate. I'd rather shave my head than be your soulmate. Okay, let's make a deal. If you end up being my soulmate, you have to shave your head, and if not, I'll leave you alone. All right, fine. Excuse me, miss, the results are out. Turns out Jake is your what? soulmate. What? See, I told you, I love being right. This can't be happening. So now that you know I'm your soulmate, you have to finish your end of the deal. I have to prove it again. I will be famous. Hello? We'd like to invite you to act in a movie. Act in a movie? Yes, that's right. That means whatever I say comes true. Whoever has rainbow colors is considered as a ruler. A ruler? Yes, they make decisions because everything they say becomes true. Turns out, you're the one who's got rainbow colors. That's why my dad lost his job. Please help him get it back. But you have to promise to be nice to everyone if you're rich. Yes, Amara, I promise. Okay, you will be rich. Thank you so much. Are the rainbow colors real or fake? Are you really asking me that? Of course it's real. Then why is there another person who's got rainbow colors too? There's only supposed to be one person with Wait, rainbow colors. Wait, there's another person with rainbow colors too? Yes. Show me. That's the person. Which of you has the real rainbow mark? Me. One of them must be fake. Let's prove it. Prove it? How? You must. Black? What does a black heart mean? A black heart means... It means that your soulmate's having unpredictable love for Maybe he's having trouble with his girlfriend. No, it's much worse than you think. And the black color is more targeted by our teeth. That means I have to pick my sign again so that nothing happens to me. Okay, I've changed it back to red. Hopefully no one will snitch on me. Why is it that only girls get green hearts and boys don't? Because almost no girl cheats. Girls are more loyal. What? That's not true. Anyway, what's important is you need to keep your color hidden. The teacher can't know. By the way, where did Gemma go? I don't know. She said she was going to go and speak with the teacher. A teacher? Someone told me that there's a person with a black heart in the school. Who told you, sir? It doesn't matter, but a black heart is really dangerous. You have to catch them. What if the teacher finds out it's me and he kills me? Who was hit my soulmate then? Amara, you have to get out of the school before anyone finds out because you're being targeted. But why? I love school. I'm only saying this because I'm your friend. Why is the police here? They found more people with green hearts, so they're here to capture them. I need to get out of here before it's too late. Why are you always late? I'm so hungry. Sorry, babe. I was busy with something. Since you're late, you have to pay for my food. You want me to pay for your food? You cheated on me and you still haven't admitted it. How have I cheated? We both have red hearts. That's true. This means he's not my soulmate. You know what? I don't love you anymore. I'm breaking up with you. Amara, wait. So, I'm the only one in town with a black heart. I have to find my soulmate before it's too late. Things can get worse. Honey, get ready. We're going to have guests over. Who's coming? You'll see. Can you get that? What's up, Emily? Amara, come with me. You can't be in your house. Why can't I be in my house? What's wrong? I know the location of your soulmate. He's in danger. We have to hurry up and go. How do you know? I'll tell you later. Amara, come in. The guests are already here. Guests? I'm sorry. I can't come with you. We have guests. Wait. 
Amara, this is who I wanted to introduce you to. Sir, what are you doing at my house? Are my grades that bad? No, I want to take you out for a walk. Why is the color of the teacher's heart also black? It's the same color as mine. You're going on a vacation with the teacher for three days. A vacation? With my teacher? Please, it was a mistake. I don't want to die. Die? Where did you get that from? Those who pick people don't die. What happens is... They are all arrested. And why are they all arrested? Because everyone that picked fire are using water as slaves. So that means my sister is with them? Yes, your sister was taken by Okay, what are you waiting for? Take me so I can save her. Okay, come with me. Take this, put it on quick. Why? If you want to save your sister, you're going to have to dress like them. Wait, so does that mean you're also water too? Yes, I'm there disguised. There, no one knows who I am. Everyone, welcome Amara, our new member of fire. Hello, everyone. Go on, Mia. I'll make up for you now. Yes, miss. I'll go get it now. There you are. Enjoy your tea. I'm going to do that. Amara? And now, Amara, I want you to do a test to see if you really are fire. Well, I guess I'm going to have to eat them all now. I'm curious to see what's going to happen. Okay, let me try to eat some sweet food right now. Oh, my gosh. It's true, it made me fall right away. But why is my family taking so long to finish their food? I've been looking at you from my bedroom window. Why have you been standing outside for so long? I'm not allowed to go inside because my family is eating and the food could get moldy. But don't you think it's suspicious how long they've taken? Yeah, right. It's been five hours. Doesn't your family leave a spare key under the rug? Oh yeah, right. I'll just open the door. I'm home. Oh my gosh, how come they all fainted? Why are you just staring at them? Hurry up, let's take them to the hospital. No, it's useless. Amara, your family serves are at stake. It's all my fault. I thought Amara could only eat pain food. Not anymore. I can eat whatever I like. Hi, miss. I'd like to buy everything on the menu. But I thought you could only eat pain food. Not anymore. I can eat whatever I like. So, how much is the total? 300 pounds. Can you pay for it? Of course. I can just use my mum's card. Everything in the canteen is sold out. If she bought everything, then what are we going to oh, eat? Oh, you guys can just eat plain food. That's if they have any. I'm so happy I can finally eat sweets. Where were you? I've been looking for you all day. What's wrong? Your family hasn't been doing too good at the hospital. The doctors can't help them, only you One can. One sec, let me finish my food. I'm still hungry. Why am I not getting full? I've eaten so much today. Maybe because you've been eating sweets. But that doesn't make any sense. I ate the gummies that old lady gave me. Hey, those gummies you gave me aren't working. That's because you didn't eat them in front of your family like I told what you What am to. I going to do now? Go to your teacher. I've already given him some food that you can eat for your family. Sir, where were you? I've been looking for you. Do you have the food the old lady gave you? Yes, it's right here. Hurry up and eat it. this one's gonna give me I disappear when I hold my breath interesting mom I honey can you go to the shop for me and buy some vegetables Amara where did she go yes she can't see me <gasps> finally I can breathe again what power did you get I can disappear when I hold my breath oh cool every time I sneeze I fly why are you talking to Jason? He's so weird. Weird? What do you mean? He doesn't let anyone go to his house because he says his mom is fat. But his mom is fine. But Jason seems pretty normal to me. I have to prove it myself. Jason, I'm coming to your house later. No! What? Why? You don't want anything bad to happen, do you? Anything bad to happen? I have to disappear and enter Jason's home. I can choose to know the name of people's parents or their age. I prefer to know the parent's name. Sis, can I borrow your hairbrush? Yeah, sure. Here. Thank you. Huh? Why is your dad's name different than mine? Are we supposed to be siblings? What do you mean? Psst, Amara, please give me the answer to question three. Sir, Sarah's asking me for test answers. No, sir. She's the one who wants to cheat. I trust Sarah more because she's smarter than you. Therefore, I'm giving you a zero. You're on only the test. doing that because she's your daughter, right? Wait, what? I haven't checked my parents' name yet. Huh? How come both of them are boy names? I have to ask my mom.
Mom, you have to tell me the truth. Who are you? Oh my gosh, how did you find out? We have to tell her the truth. So first, your mom was... Please give me infinite lives. Yes! Mom, guess what? Why are you crying? Your sister, she... She only got two lives. Sis, are you okay? Amara, there you are. Let's drop off a building together. What? No, you only have two lives. Please, I've been dreaming about this day. I really want to know how No, I'm life. not taking the risk. I'll be fine. I'll have one life left anyway. <sighs> fine, but I'm only doing this for you. You ready? Three, two, one. That was so much fun. Let's do it again. Are you crazy? You only have one life left. Let's go home. Um, I'm just going to go back to friend's house. I'll be back soon. Hello. Sorry to tell you this, but your sister was found seriously injured jumping off a building. But I told her not to jump. The only way she can make it is if you send her all your infinite lives. Hi, nice to meet you. You're Amora, right? How comes he knows my name? We just met. Quickly, tell me how you know my name. Whoa, relax. I know your name because your friends were calling you earlier. Oh, I see. But why can't I see the level of hatred he has for me? I told you, when the hatred level doesn't appear, it means he really hates you. You should be careful around that person. He really hates me? But I haven't done anything wrong towards him. We just met. You don't know what's on his mind. Huh? Why does the new kid hate me so much? He doesn't hate you. As far as I know, he really likes you. Even his wallpaper on his phone is a picture of you. My picture on his wallpaper? Yes, that's why you often catch him staring at you. He's really handsome, you know. You two should date. Babe, I don't hate you anymore. Be my girlfriend again, please. No, I don't want to get back with you. Why? Is it because you like the new kid, Alex? Yes, do you have a problem with that? You should be careful with him. He's a mafia boss. That's just a rumor someone spread about him. He's not like that. Look at him. He looks so innocent. Okay, don't believe me, but you'll see. So, did you find the girl? Give me some time. I need to get to know her first. Who is he talking about? Um, Isabella, what do you think about the new kid? He looks very similar to my neighbor, Eric, but he's from America. You're just overthinking. There's no way he's what everyone says he is. He looks like a nice guy. You're right. I really like your hairstyle. Um, thank you. I heard from our teacher that you don't have a partner for the project yet. Do you want to be my partner? Sure, I'm glad you asked. Okay, we can work on the project at my house. Sure. Mom, I'm going to a friend's house to work on a group project. What friend? His name is Alex. He's really nice. Alex? I'm not going to let you go to his house. Why? Just don't do it. I don't want anything bad happening to you. Mom, I wasn't asking. I was telling you. Hey, Alex. Hey, Amara. Come on in. Amara, I want to introduce you to my mom. Hi, nice to meet you. Mom, why aren't you shaking her hand? Sorry, but she's going to have to wash her hands first. Okay, that was the last question. I better get going. Wait, there's one more task left. Huh? Okay, I'll put on these glasses first. So, what's the last meal? Gosh, so they really did die because of the lunch I gave them. Hello? Answer me! Um, it wasn't because of me, sir. The last meal was... Chicken soup. Okay, now, keep this a secret from everyone. So, I'm not in trouble, right, sir? No, but please keep this a secret. Yes, of course. Where did you just come from, Amara? I was just walking around the school. I'm really starting to get worried about our friends. Do you think something bad happened to them? No, I don't think so. Honey, you're back from school. Let's have lunch. I just cooked. What's our lunch this time? Cockroaches. Why? I don't know if I should eat it, but I need to find out if the reason my friends died was because of them. You don't want to eat the food? Yes, I do, Mom. Well, it tastes really good, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Why didn't anything happen? I'll get it. Hey, I brought you a bag filled with food. You did? I don't think I can accept this, sir. If you don't, I'll reduce your grades. Okay, I'll accept it. Why is he forcing me to take this? This is so weird. I have to find out who was responsible for what happened at school yesterday. Amara, you're finally here. Huh, Stephanie? How are you still alive? Am I in heaven? I'm still alive and we all need your help to avoid the teacher. So you faked your death? Yes. Look at how ugly I am. Of course I'm going to pick the beauty pill. Is that her, the ugliest girl in school? Yeah, that's What her. do you mean? Why is my beauty pill not working? Class, we all know there will be a contest for prom paper. Can you sign up? Sir, I'd like to sign up. 
Why would you sign up? You look like Shrek's door. I didn't just sign up. I'm also going to win and be the prom princess. Don't make me laugh. Let's bet on it. All right, let's do it. Whoever loses the bet needs to leave the school forever. Deal. The pill needs to load quick. Prom is about to start. Finally, it's time. Three, two, one. One million or a crown? Of course, the one million. What? Why? This crown is so strange. It doesn't even fit. Why did everyone buy a new car? Because everyone chose the one million. Life is so unfair. Hey, mom, I'm home. Hey, honey, you chose the money, right? Yes, of course. Attention students, tomorrow there'll be a costume party at school. Everyone's supposed to wear a costume. But I don't have a costume. I only have this crown and this dress. The only thing I can dress as is a princess. Okay, it doesn't look that bad. Mom, can you take me to school? Yes, of course I can, Your Majesty. You don't even have to ask. Hello, everyone. Your Majesty, what are you doing here? What do you mean by that? Our queen is here. Everyone kneel down. Little tomato or adult tomato? Mommy, what does this mean? If you choose the adult tomato, you'll turn into an adult. If you choose the small tomato, you'll be I really want to grow up and be an adult like you. Honey, wait. You can't eat that now. You have to wait 13 hours. Oh, I wanted to grow up quickly. Look, the nerd just entered our class. Why do you always wear those glasses? Aren't they too big for you? You can bully me all you want, but once I become an adult, I'm going to be really pretty. Wait, did you pick the adult tomato? Yeah, didn't you? No, we all chose the small tomatoes. This is so funny. When you're an adult, you can work as our babysitter. That's not funny. You're not the only one who chose the adult tomato. Really? You chose the adult tomato too? Yes. Who would want to be small forever? When we're adults, we can do whatever we like and we'll have our own money. I wonder what you're going to look like when you grow up. You'll probably look like a grown-up nerd. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure I'm going to look beautiful. You really think so? That's never going to happen. Class, for those who chose the adult tomatoes, the age will randomly increase. So, I'm going to grow older randomly? Yeah, you could either become a teenager, a mom, or a grandma. No, I don't want to be a grandma. So, if I eat this, I might go straight looking like a grandma. What should I do? Listen, guys, you know how Amara and David chose the adult tomatoes? Let's steal David's tomato so that Amara will be the only one who looks old. Yeah, let Amara grow up on her own. Besides, she really thinks she's going to look pretty when she grows up. Let's prove her wrong. I have to tell David now. Where is he? I wanted to tell him, but he's not here. Is everyone ready? It's time for you to eat your tomatoes. I'm sure Amara won't be pretty when she grows up. Let's just see after she eats that tomato. You have to eat your tomatoes in a count of three, two, one. You have to get class A. It will make our family very valuable. Okay, I'm going to check now. Three, two, one. Wow, I got class C, mom. Oh no, that's not good. What's wrong? Hurry up, I have to fake your class before you embarrass our family. Okay, mom. Hopefully no one will know and it will look like you got class A. What class are you in, Emily? I'm in class C. It's true that poor people like us are never appreciated. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm in class A. Huh? How come? I don't know. I was also surprised this morning. Yeah, if that's the case, we'll be in separate classes. Emily said you got class A. Yeah, that's right. Nice to meet you all. Where does your parents work? Uh, oh my gosh, my parents don't own a company. What the heck, Jake? Maybe she doesn't want to say it. Yeah, that's right. I don't want to say. Your parents must be very important. Okay, class, this is our first lesson. Please take out your cell phones. Cell phone? I only brought a paper and a pen. That can't be right. Everyone got cell phones when they received the letter A. Oh, right. Sorry, sir. Um, mine broke. It's okay, sir. I can share mine with Amara. Okay, if you don't mind. You're lucky I saved you. Yes, thank you so much. Let's go to the canteen. I'm really hungry. Why are you going to the canteen? Our food is delivered to the school by a helicopter. A helicopter? And there it is. The food's already here. Mom? Hey, honey. I came to bring you some food. I'm so scared. If I get caught, they'll put me in prison. Calm down. Everything is safe and under control. You just have to go with the flow. Okay, if you say so. Class A, please make your way to the dining room. I have to go, Mom.
I was looking for your food, but your name wasn't there. Oh, don't worry. I already got it. I think the teacher's assumptions were true. What assumption? You're not really a class A, are you? <laughs> I'm just joking. Why are you so scared? Now that you've finished eating, we're going to bring in all your parents, so please be nice to everyone. Why are you bringing our parents, sir? So everyone can get to know each other better. I can't wait to meet your parents tomorrow. Me too. They must be really important. Everyone's parents are here except tomorrow's. Where are your parents? Um, maybe they're busy. You look suspicious. I want you to erase the letter on your neck. But my class is still loading. What if I remove it and nothing shows? Okay, I'll remove it now, sir. Mum, can I have money for lunch? Sorry, honey, I'm in debt right now. I can't afford to give you any more money. You're in debt? Yes, but there's a way for you to make money. You have to guess the name. Guess the name of a mafia or a psychopath? I'll guess the name of a psychopath because they're more dangerous and that way, if I know the name, I can stay away from them. Huh? There's four letters? What happens if I don't guess the name? You have three tries. If you fail all of them, you'll disappear. Only three tries? Yes, so you have to be careful. Okay, I'll try to guess the first letter. K? That's wrong. I only have two tries left before I disappear. Amara, there's a new student. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. A girl. Most girl names have A in them, so... A? Yes, it's right. Hi, class. This is our new student. She'll be sitting next to you. But Amara. miss, isn't that a doll? Don't be disrespectful. Be nice. She's new. That was weird. Anyway, let me continue guessing the name. Um, M? That's wrong. If I'm wrong one more time, I disappear. Why are you being rude to the new kid? You can't see that it's a doll. A doll? What are you talking about? She's human. Amara, you're in the same group as the new girl. I'm in a group with a doll? Isn't that the same as doing the whole project on my own? What are you talking about? She's obviously just a girl. What is wrong with you people? You're right, it is a doll. Finally, someone who believes me. That means I'm not going crazy. The only reason we see her as a doll is because we haven't looked her in the eyes. So, if we look her in the eyes, we'll see her as a human? Yes. Did I spell your name right? No, it's M, not N. Huh? Yes, two more letters. You don't have to worry about guessing the name. Why not? You'll soon know the truth. Amara, our teacher died. What do you mean he died? The new kid says it's your fault. They're saying I killed the teacher? How is this doll accusing me? Can she even speak? The teacher died because he saw her in the shape of a doll. So that means we're also gonna die because we've seen her in the shape of a doll. You have to guess the psychopath's name before it's too late. You said I shouldn't worry. She's gonna kill you. What? Kill me? We don't even know each other. She knows very well who you are. She's trying to stop you from guessing the letters. See what's on my dad's phone or see what's on my boyfriend's phone? My boyfriend, of course. Amara, I want to cry. Why are you sad? I went through my dad's phone and I saw a video. Wait, stop. I don't want to know what you saw. What did you choose? I chose my boyfriend's phone, but I haven't seen anything yet. I'm waiting for him to forget about it. Babe, come let's eat in the canteen. Okay. You didn't choose to see my phone, uh, did you? I kind of did. Why would you do that? You know we both have to respect each other's phone. I know, I'm sorry. How is it fair that you can go through my phone and I can't go through your Don't worry, babe. I won't go through your phone. I'm just going to go to the bathroom. Okay. Oh, he forgot his phone. I'm just going to go through it. I'm sure he doesn't have anything special on there. Let's see what you've been up to. What? Mommy, my life is worth a cupcake. No, honey, your life is worth one pound. But that's fine, you're still young. You can work yourself out. So, class, each person in this world has a price. Sir, what do I need to do to change my life to be priceless? That doesn't happen. Everything has a price. I see you on your phone. I hope you did your homework. No, I didn't do it. I can't believe this. At the age of 16, your life is still worth by pound. Mom, I already said, I don't want to play this game. My life is already priceless. Look at the world you live in. Here, every life has its price. Claus, this is Amara. She's the new student that's going to be studying with you. But if her life is worth nothing, she shouldn't be studying with us. Don't be mean. Don't her around the school so her life will be worth more. Listen, we don't know why you got transferred with us, but we're not going to help you. I didn't ask for your help. Tomorrow's our test and I hope you get a bad grade and get kicked out of okay? here. Don't listen to them. I think you'll get good grades. Here's your test. Take the right answers and give it back. Good luck. I hope your life will be worth a few more pounds.
You'll have exactly two hours to complete the test. Honey, how was your test? The results are loading. I hope you got a good grade. Thanks, Mom. The results are ready. I'm so nervous. Stay calm, don't worry. Oh my god, I got 100,000 pounds. I got 500,000. I got my results, but I got zero. Have you got any? Choose between the small egg or the strong egg. If I choose the small egg, that means I'll get the highest grades in class. Mom, I chose the small egg. I'm gonna eat it now. No, honey, don't. Why not? You have to wait until later, otherwise it won't work. Okay. Oh, look who it is. It's the stupid girl. Not only stupid, she's ugly too. And you guys think you're prettier than me? Of course we are, and smarter too. Not for long, because guess what? I have the smart egg. What? How did you get that? It's super rare. Don't worry. Good morning, everyone. We have a biology test, okay? But sir, you didn't tell us about it. I know, but you should always study, not only when you have a test. Sai is so annoying, but I have nothing to worry about anyway. I can just eat my egg right before the test. Amara, what are we gonna do? We're so gonna fail this test. Don't worry, I chose the small egg this morning, so as soon as I eat it, I'll help you with the answers. Really? But that egg is so rare. You're so lucky. Can I see it? Yeah, sure. Let me just... Wait, where's the egg? Are you looking for this one? Stephanie, give it back! And let you be the smartest in class? Not a chance. <laughs> what are we going to do now? No one's going to believe that she stole my egg. I have an idea. We make her confess again while recording her. Once everyone sees the video, she'll be forced to give you the egg back. That's genius. She's right there. Okay, start recording now. Oh no, my phone's not letting me. It says storage full. Wait, haven't you heard of Smart Cleaner? Smart Cleaner? What's that? Smart Cleaner allows you to free up your storage without having to delete things manually. It can easily detect and delete duplicate photos and screenshots with just one click. I had so many duplicate photos that I didn't even know was there. This was my storage before and after I used the app. Oh, my phone has so much storage now. This is perfect. Thank you so much. No worries. Now, are you ready to get your egg back? Let's go. Honey, wait. What are you doing? I'm drawing a cat. Honey, you can't draw on yourself. What you draw on your body will stay on your soulmate's body forever. Oops. Bestie, what are you doing? Relax. I'm drawing a heart on my face to make it easier for me to find my soulmate. But I think your soulmate won't be happy with a permanent heart on his face. Don't worry, he'll thank me a lot later. Amara, look at your face. <gasps> he turned the heart into a spider. He's not gonna get away with this. Relax, revenge is not the best answer. Amara, what did you do? A permanent mustache. Let's see if you like this. Bestie, have you noticed your arm? I think you saw me drew something on it. Yeah, I don't think he liked the mustache very much. What's written on that? <gasps> Wait, he wrote an address. Wait, your face is different. Yeah, you look like a completely different person. If Amara could change her face, I also want to change my face. Okay, fine, Jessica. I'll give you 24 hours to change your face so that it's fair. I can't believe Jessica also wants to change her face. You can't let anyone wear the mask I gave you. Why not? Because if they do, it could be dangerous. You have to find the mask and throw it away immediately. Okay, I'll go get it now. Wait, I swear I left the mask here. Where is it? I have to find it before anyone else wears it. Alice! What do you want? Where's Jessica? I'm also looking for Jessica. Why did my mask disappear from where I left it? I'm sure Jessica took it. Good, I hope she did so that her beauty can be the same as yours. That mask can only be worn once. Something bad could happen if someone else wears it. Oh no, we have to find Jessica right now before she wears the mask. Jessica? Amara, how did you know I was here? I knew it! You did take my mask! Jessica, take off that mask now! Alice, since when were you on Amara's side? You're supposed to be my best friend! Just listen to me, otherwise something bad will happen! How do you know that? Jessica, please take off your mask now! I have to choose one of you! Okay, I'm taking it off now! Um, Jessica? What is it, Alice? Is my face okay? Your face hasn't changed at all! The mask didn't Ow. do anything! Why is my face suddenly hurting so much? Amara, are you okay? I can't stand my face, it's hurting me. Gosh, why is Amara's face so... Don't worry, I'm gonna go and see for myself. Three, two, one. 
Oh, I'm already on planet reverse. Wait, why is the sun setting from the east? Shouldn't it be setting from the west? Because we're in planet reverse. Everything is opposite here. Huh? Everything is opposite? Yes. <gasps> this is my house. Amara? Mom? Go away. Don't ever come to this house again. I don't like Why don't you like me? You ask too many questions. Oh, yeah. On planet Earth, Mom loved me. Meaning here because everything is opposite. She hates me. Good morning, Amara. Jake, you're rich. I've always been rich. No, on planet Earth, you used to be poor. What? Oh, right. I keep forgetting. Everything is reversed here. That's why you're rich. Hey, guys. Amara, why do you look like a girl? Because I am a girl. Whoa, this two Amara is in one place. One is a girl and one is a boy. Wait, so on this planet, I'm a boy? Yes. On Earth, our teacher used to be so evil. I wonder why he's like it. Guys, why are you all studying alone? Where's the teacher? Did you forget that the teacher's been asleep for a long time? Asleep? How come? Because his powers were taken by his twin, who is now on Earth. Why can't anyone help him? How are we supposed to help him? We can't make it to planet Earth. And besides, the teacher on planet Earth is evil. That's true. If only I could go back to planet Earth and persuade the teacher not to destroy planet Reverse. You can't persuade him. You have to kill him. Why? Because as long as the evil teacher is still alive, we're always going to be in danger. So I have to go back to planet Earth? But how? You have to eat this chocolate and make sure as soon as you get there, you get rid of him. Okay. Don't worry, our school will have a teacher soon. I'm going to go back to Earth and get rid of the evil teacher so our teacher here can wake up. Are you sure you can do it? I must be able to. Knowing people's age or knowing people's address? I choose knowing people's age because often people lie about how old they are. Morning, mom. Morning, honey. Huh? 26 years old? Why did you lie and say you were 50? Because I'm embarrassed. I gave birth to you when I was only 12. 12? Does that mean you were still in school? Yes, but I got kicked out. Since you're so young, why don't you get any more kids? I really want a sister. Giving birth isn't that easy. What if we adopt someone? Adopt? Okay, I don't care as long as I get a sibling. Hey, bestie. Hey, Amara. 17 years old? How come you're 17 years old? We're still in first year of high school. Because I didn't go to school for two years, but please don't tell anyone. Calm down, I won't. Amara, this is your report. Thanks, sir. Why am I grade so low? Because you're not smart. Raise my grades, otherwise I'll tell the principal that you're 70 years old and he'll kick you out because you're not allowed to work when you're 70. You should be retired. Okay, I'll raise your grades, but please don't tell the principal. That's more like it. You want to be my girlfriend? We're the same age. You think you can lie to me? You're a few years older than me and I don't want to waste my time with someone like you. Bye. Hey mom, your new sister's here. Why don't you go get to know her? You already adopted someone? Yes, she's in the living room. I can't wait to meet her. Hey, what's your name? My name's Olivia. Olivia? Yes, sis. Sis, why are you looking at me like that? It's nothing. Why can't I see Olivia's age? I need to find out how old she is. Olivia, your room's right there. Let me help you with your bag. I wonder what she has in here. Huh? Since when did Olivia have dentures? I let you hold my bag, not go through it. This is yours? No, I got them from my orphanage. Here, give me my bag. Mom, we have to kick my new sister out. What's wrong? There's something wrong with her. I can't see how old she is. Maybe there's an error in the system. But just now, I found dentures in her bag. She already said it belonged to her mother in the orphanage. There's someone new in your house. How did you know that? I know you're trying to find out how old she is. Wear these glasses, they'll help you. These glasses? Where's the old lady? How come she's gone? Olivia? Since when did you wear makeup? You're still young, you can't wear makeup. I'm trying to cover my moles. Moles? Yes. Anyway, look. I got new glasses. Glasses? Wait, aren't those? Yes, soon I'll know Olivia's age. Can I only pick one, Mom? Yes, only one, and each one has a different power. I've already decided I want to be February. Why February? Because I'll be able to control the temperature of the snow. What about you? What did you pick? I haven't picked yet. I'm researching so I can choose one with loads of power. Class, we're going to continue researching about the moths. 
Sir, is it true the Mount Zero is the strongest of them all? Yes, it's chosen very rarely. It controls fire. Its power goes beyond that. That's the one I want to choose, but which month is it? That's the thing, the month isn't picked, it picks you. That's how powerful it is. Why so nervous, Amara? I'm not nervous, I'm just researching what best month is to choose. There's no point, I'm gonna win the one with the most power. Class, there's an announcement. You will all get the month you were born but in. But I was born in May. That's a weak power, sir. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. Is everyone ready? Yay, I got January. The month that controls the wind. Amara, are you okay? Reality turns into a lie or a lie becomes reality. I'll choose a lie becomes reality. That way I can lie to everyone and say that my parents are rich and it will come true. I think you got it wrong. What do you mean, mom? I mean, whoever lies in front of you, their lies will become reality. What? Sorry, Amara, I can't come to your birthday party. Why not? Because my mom is in the hospital. Oh, I hope your mom gets well soon. Amara, this is all your fault. My fault? My mom is in the hospital for real. You must have chosen when everyone lies, it becomes true, right? Well, no one told you to lie to me. Amara, I'm breaking up with you. What? My mom said I can't date you because she found me another wife and we're getting married. You and Dave broke up because his parents arranged his marriage, How right? do you know? Because he's been telling everyone that you're a bad person and that no one should be friends with you. Huh? Why did you break up with Amara? She's so beautiful and kind. Uh, beautiful? She looks like a clown. Go to school, bye. Didn't you get two pigtails? Why is your hair kind? I don't care. If others can do it, so can I. Don't. If you break the rules, Don't you... tell me. I'm gonna go to school. I wanna show my new hair off. Jack, look at your ex. Her hair's on time. Wow, beautiful. Did the system finally let you keep your hair loose or did you cheat? I already told you, I can also get loose hair, not just your new girlfriend. I don't believe you. I don't care if you believe me or not. Did you break the rules? Yes. Amara! I told you, nothing will happen. What if, for example, I don't get caught? Everyone gets caught eventually. I'm worried about you. <sighs> Calm down. So, you opened my bag yesterday. And what if I did? Do you have anything to hide? Like maybe all those hair ties in your bag? I'm sure you broke the rules too. No, I actually didn't. We'll find out later. Please, just this once. Can I have my hair untied so I don't have to break the rules anymore? Braids? I don't even know how to braid my hair. I guess I'm gonna have to break the rules again. As long as no one knows, it's okay, right? You broke the rules again? Yeah. Gosh, Amara. Why? There's a hair breaking detection system here today. They're gonna be checking if anyone's Wait, breaking the rules. Wait, they're coming to this school? Yes. Hair check will start soon. Hair check will start soon? What am I gonna do? Did you bring any hair ties with you? No, and also today I got braids and I don't even know how to braid my hair. I can help you. You can just use one of my hair ties. Come. No, everyone's gonna think I was lying and I'm gonna look bad. I don't want to. I guess I have to say goodbye to you because soon everyone's gonna know the truth. You think they won't find out about you too? You also broke the rules. Don't worry, no one will find out. You'll see later. Why does Jack's new girlfriend never get caught? She breaks the rules every single day. I don't know, maybe she knows a way around it. Amara, please come forward. There will be a hair check. I have to go. Be careful, okay? Is it true that you got your hair untied today? You didn't violate the rules, right? Yes, sir. And no, I didn't violate the rules. Let me have a look. I hope he doesn't find out. Okay, done. Wait, there's still a second check. Assistant, please bring me the comb. Yes, the hair rules are changing. Please give me loose hair so they won't find out I broke the rules. 